Thank you for joining us today. I'm Dave Robbins with ETA News. I want to talk to you today about the Antichrist. With all of the tension and uncertainty in the world today, there is a growing interest in end time prophecy. In particular, curiosity is mounting about the identity of a coming world leader sent and empowered by Satan himself that will deceive the nations. Even though the Old and New Testaments give this ruler many names and titles, he is most commonly referred to as the Antichrist. Many questions abound today. Is the Antichrist alive on the earth today? Does he know who he, that does he know that he is the Antichrist? Is he in power already and working behind the scenes? If so, who is he? Well, although the Bible does not identify the Antichrist specifically, the scriptures provide many clues and characteristics to describe him. So let's take a look. Biblical names for the Antichrist are the king of Assyria, Isaiah 10, 12, king of Babylon, Isaiah 14, 4, the wicked, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8, the man of sin, the son of perdition, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3 and 4, and the beast, Revelation 13, 5 through 8. The book of Daniel provides many specific characteristics of the Antichrist. He comes from ten kings or rulers in the restored Holy Roman Empire. That's Daniel 7.7. 7. He will subdue three of these kings, Daniel 7.8. He is diverse or different from the other ten rulers, Daniel 7.7 7 and 19. His appearance is more imposing than his fellows, Daniel 7.20. He will make war with the saints for three and a half years and overcome them, Daniel 7, 21 and 25. He will speak great words against and blaspheme the Almighty God, Daniel 7, 25. He will try to change times and laws, Daniel 7, 25. He is a king of fierce countenance, Daniel 8, 23. By peace he shall destroy many, Daniel 8, 25. He shall come in peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flatteries, Daniel eleven twenty one, 21. He shall exalt and magnify himself above every god and shall speak marvelous things against the God of gods, Daniel eleven thirty six. 36. He shall not regard the God of his fathers nor desi the desire of women nor regard any god for he shall magnify himself above all, Daniel eleven thirty seven, 37. And finally, he shall have power over the treasures and precious things of Egypt, Daniel eleven forty three. 43. So Daniel has given us many specific characteristics of the Antichrist, but there are also other biblical characteristics all throughout the Bible. He will claim to be God, 2 Thessalonians verse, chapter 2, verse 3 and 4. He will possess great power, 2 Thessalonians 2, 8 through 9. He will receive his power straight from Satan himself, Revelation 13, 1 and 2, and he will rule for three and a half years, Revelation 13, 5. He will persecute Christians and dominate world governments, Revelation 13, 7. He will blaspheme God, Revelation 13, 6. He will partner with the false prophet, Revelation 13, 11 through 12. He will gather the world to battle of Armageddon, Revelation 16, 13 through 14. And finally, he will be defeated by Jesus and his armies, Revelation 19, 11. So, at first glance, the Antichrist will appear to be a well-intentioned world leader promoting peace and safety. But in reality, the Antichrist will bring chaos and destruction as, as he exerts his power to persecute Christians and unify world leaders against Israel. As the scriptures foretell, for a while it appears that the Antichrist will prevail. The armies of the world will descend on Jerusalem, found in Zechariah 14, 2. And the city shall be taken, and the houses rifled, and the women ravished, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. So in this final showdown between good and evil, the battle of Armageddon, the Antichrist, the false prophet, and Satan will form an unholy trinity. Thankfully, the story has a good ending for Jerusalem and all of those that the Antichrist has persecuted. Full of pride and delusions, the Antichrist, the son of perdition, will meet and fall to the true Christ, Jesus, at his second coming. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations. 
as when he fought in the day of battle, and his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth in that day. There shall be one Lord and his name one. Zechariah 14, 3 through 4 and verse 9. So when will we know who the Antichrist specifically is? When will we be able to recognize this world governing leader? Well, in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3 through 4, it tells us that he is specifically revealed for all the world to see at the abomination of desolation when he stands in a rebuilt Jewish temple and proclaims to be God. Thankfully, the Bible tells us how to recognize this figure and what will be his end. Thank you for watching. I'm Dave Robbins with ETA News.